Welcome back. My name is Aaron Solar. Welcome to the section on Framework Manager Concepts for IBM Cognos BI. In this section, we're going to learn namespaces, which are building blocks for security, folders, where we can organize our data by data type, model advisor, which is like having someone else QA your work, and importing data sources, where if you have more than one database, not a problem. And finally, joins and cardinality. We're going to learn where to join and how to join. In our first video, we're going to look at namespaces. In this video, we'll create namespaces, learn how to create groups in Cognos administration, and we'll see how to restrict access to namespaces by group or role. Okay, so we're in the Great Outdoors project inside Framework Manager. And if we go ahead and open up the Go Data Warehouse namespace here, and you can tell it's a namespace where you have two tables joined to a third one inside this little icon. If we look down here at some of the various folders, you can see you have employee expense and employee expense plan. All these are inside a namespace. The primary purpose of a namespace is to allow you to control security by user, group, and role. A user is a single person, obviously. A group can be a group of people, such as the finance department. And a role would be such as business authors or consumers. So some of your consumers may not have access to employee expenses, but the finance department would. So you could actually use a combination of users, groups, and roles to control the security and the access for the, each particular namespace. You're going to want to pay attention to this when you're designing your model. And if you want to go ahead and take a look at what you're set up with, you go ahead and select the particular namespace. And then under Actions, you can go ahead and specify Object Security. So right now, everyone has access to this particular namespace. May be okay in your environment because you may just give Cognos access to the finance department. But if you had all employees having access, so therefore employees could pull their own leave reports from payroll or their own expense report status, you may want to change the security settings for the particular namespace. A deny will always overrule and allow. So everyone may have access, but you deny certain groups of people. And even though they're in the everyone group, they will still be denied. If you want to go ahead and add a particular user or group, go ahead and do this by clicking the Add button. We'll navigate into Cognos. And here you have, these are all of your roles. So where do we create the groups and the users? Inside Cognos Administration, which is accessed from the Launch button inside Cognos, if we go over here to the Security tab, and here we have Users, Groups, and Roles as our first selection. We're going to go ahead into Cognos. And again, here are all of our roles that we see here back over here in Framework Manager. Now, if you want to create a new group, we go ahead and click on the new group icon. Next, if you had Cognos hooked up to Active Directory, this is where you can add users, which are married up. Or if you have individual logins for Cognos, you could add those users in this section as well. You can always add users later by clicking on the properties of Finance Department, Members tab, and then again, click Add or Remove. So if a person changes from Finance over to Sales, they may need to be removed from particular groups. So let's go ahead and click Cancel. We'll go click Hit Add again, and we should see our group appear now. Here we are, Finance Department, right arrow to select it. Go ahead and click OK. And now the Finance Department would have access to this particular namespace. If we want to go, we can click OK, and it may give you a warning or so if you want to begin securing objects in the model that's okay i'm going to click cancel since this is a demo environment and i don't want to make any modifications which are going to affect future videos so i'm going to go ahead and click cancel here but again click on the namespace go up to actions specify object security you can go ahead and start adding your user groups and roles to securing namespaces